Recently, I made a video all about the riffs that excited and inspired me to pick up a guitar for the first time ever. My fundamental riffs, if you will. And for those riffs, I used these pedals from Walrus Audio, the fundamental series, their entry level of pedals, which are designed to take you from your first ever practice to your first stadium gig and beyond. And I thought it would be fun to ask a bunch of other guitar players what their fundamental riffs are. And where do you find a bunch of other guitar players? at a guitar show, of course. So, here's me walking around Guitar Summit in Mannheim, Germany. See if you can guess some of the riffs you might hear in this video, and indeed, if they're the same as yours. Now, Marlon was clearly having such a great time, he played the whole song, which I'm not going to share with you, but I'm going to skip to the end so you can see his face when he finishes. This is exactly what I enjoyed most about doing this, the smile on people's faces when they're playing guitars. We were all just having a good time. And then Marlon was smiling and I was smiling and Robin behind the camera was smiling and everybody was having a blast. And I found that I reconnected with a part of myself that sometimes gets squashed down underneath all the gear stuff. So it was also a joy to meet Leo, who's only been playing for a few months. Check this out. Leo's clearly near the beginning of his guitar journey, but he was so keen to play and so eager to get in front of the camera and just try out the pedals, which was brilliant fun to watch. Up next is something also cool, but for completely different reasons. A fundamental riff from Natalia that I've never heard before. And it uses the E minor pentatonic scale and a whole bunch of delay. Don't panic if you don't know that riff. It's so obscure that not even Natalia could remember the name at first. But after that, we met a gentleman called Tom who's been playing guitar longer than the Beatles. <laughs> Up next is Manu, who is also quite new to guitar and has already developed a pretty unique way of turning on a distortion pedal. Now, Manu asked me to cut at the solo part because he said he messed it up, but it did cost him a high five. Up next is Vincent, and I didn't hear what he played until I was editing this video, and it is a song 
that is very dear to my heart, and his version is probably better than the original. <laughs> The smile on Vincent's face says it all for me. That is one of his fundamental riffs, which is either a riff that made him pick up the guitar because it inspired him so much, or when he does pick up a guitar, it's one of those riffs that he loves to play. Speaking of which, here's a riff that almost everybody loves to play. It's Vanessa with some more Metallica. I love the way Vanessa played that, and it turns out I've been playing it completely differently for many, many years. So I'm going to learn Vanessa's version because I really like the way she does the slides in that. Also, when I walk around places like NAMM and Guitar Summit, you tend to bump into some people you know, and I did. You might recognize this chap. He's on YouTube as Mad Steaks. This is Fabio. <laughs> Now there are eight pedals in the fundamental range, but people seem to be happy mostly using the drive, the distortion, the delay, and the reverb. And Mano used the chorus as well, so that's five pedals so far. However, no one has stacked the drive and the distortion until now. <laughs> He had so much gain and volume on the headphones for that part that I could hear it from about 10 meters away and I correctly identified the riff. That's how loud it was. And that was supposed to be the last riff of the day, but we were at the Ibanez booth and there were a load of basses, so I decided to plug one in and see what happens when you turn on all the pedals. <laughs> So that is me at my fundamental, just turning everything on and making a lot of noise. But what I didn't know is that the person stood next to me in that video was also a bass player. And after some convincing, she agreed to play it on the video, even though she's only been playing a little while. So see if you can guess the riff that Alinta is playing. <laughs> I love seeing someone discover something for the first time and putting a bass through a distortion pedal opens up a whole new world of possibilities and soundscapes. So at least one life was changed on that day, but now I need to ask you for your help because one of those players in the video is going to win themselves one of the fundamental pedals. And I want you to decide by leaving a comment with the name of the person who you think deserves the pedal the most. I'll let this run for a week or so, and whoever has the most votes in the comments section will get themselves a Walrus Audio fundamental pedal of their choice. I had an absolute blast meeting all these people and making this video and hearing their fundamental riffs and seeing the joy on their faces. So if you've enjoyed this, I really, really hope you have. Click the subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.